Hey, what's up guys? Totally Dubbed here, and uh, today I'm going to show you a selection of uh, cases I got sent uh, by uh, Jason Case. Um, these cases can be found on Amazon.co.uk and also via their website. I will also link down in the description every single case which is over here, and also a promo code that can be used in order to get yourself a nice little discount uh, for the time being. I was also sent these screen protectors which came with some of the cases, this is for the uh, Note 2, this is for the S4 and the S3 one I've already used and is on there. So I'm going to uh, give you an overview and more so a review of the cases uh, because I've had a chance to test them out um, on the certain devices and I want to comment on them. At the moment, right in front of you, you've got an S3 over here and a Note 2 over here. And these two cases over here, this one's for an S3 and this is for a Note 2, which are empty. However, they have the same principle as the cases currently in use by the devices. This one is for the Galaxy S4, and I have tested it with the Galaxy S4 and seen how it looks like. However, as I do not own the S4, it was one of my friend's um, S4, I have the case on its own over here. So, first of all, the cases, um, um, I should probably list down the prices of each and tell you the name of them. So, this one on the left is for the S3, it's called a folio case, it's a handmade genuine leather and as you can see obviously it's made for the S3 and any variants of the S3. Um, on the sides it's got a hole for your power, it's got empty um, cutout there for your jack, um, it's got a cutout for your flash, your speaker and your camera and unfortunately over here it's got no cutout but obviously if you open it up you've got the volume key over there and obviously there's a cutout over there for the, um, the charging port. The quality of the item is extremely good and this extends throughout all of the products I must say. Um, if you look um, closely, hopefully my camera can pick up, the, um, the, the quality of the uh, material is extremely nice and it's very soft um, on, on touch. And therefore when you go um, put it on your screen it won't damage your screen and will uh, nicely protect it. I should also mention that there is a this speaker over here has a cutout over there and the design the design of the top has a nice little logo over here which is a JSON case um, logo which is apparent on all the devices. All the cases pretty much have the same features in terms of cutouts, in terms of their um, their stitching inside. Um, however, the S Force case is a little bit different, and by that it means by the cutout it has as a cutout over there, and it's a little bit different, obviously, because of the different construction of the S4, and it has this notification panel which um, isn't present on the other devices because this is an S4 feature so it's got it over there which is quite useful. Again the quality of the inside of all the cases are very good as you can see. It also does vary in terms of uh, the color of it so that the lighter the, the case the lighter the um, the inside so hopefully you can see that the the Note 2 over there you've got a little bit of difference you've got a little lighter patching over here than this one. Although this one's been used much more than this one has been but um, apart from that the color in terms of the color you can see the difference if I if you go in close you'll be able to see there's a little difference um, in terms of shades and I think that's a nice quite it's a nice little touch uh, it's not something that has to be done but because of the case color it's obvious that it would be nice if you have a little lighter shade if you have a light outside and a darker shade if you have a dark outside in terms of the quality of the cases, as I said, it seems extremely durable and extremely, um, extremely uh, well made. I have to say that the um, the quality of the um, the the material used is very nice. So when they say handmade genuine leather on this one, I really do believe it is handmade genuine leather, just because of the stitching over here uh, and because of how it looks like. Moving on to this case, I just would like to give you the names of them. This one goes for. Uh, just under £20. It's the handmade uh, genuine leather one. This one over here goes for £13. It's a leather case, a uh, premium leather case. I think it's uh, it's not, um, if I'm not mistaken, it's not real leather, uh, unlike this one, and therefore it's a little cheaper. These come in a variation of colours, which is pretty cool, and this one comes in um, a blackish colour like this and um, the brownish colour. Again, link in the description will be below so you guys can see all of them. 
Going on to the Note 2, uh, this one again is a premium leather case um, and this one goes for £12 on Amazon. This one, um, just like the um, like the S3 one, it says uh, a natural cow leather um, for the Note 2, it's uh, handmade again. Um, so this is quite nice. And you can see, which something I forgot to point out, is that you've got a cutout over here for the uh, for the pen to get it out over there. So you can get out the pen like so. And moving on to the S4's case, this one by the way is £20. And moving on to the S4's case, which is £22.40. Um, and this is um, genuine leather as well. And again, handmade. So it seems that the quality of the items which are on show, or the ones I've been sent, are extremely good and extremely good quality. As I said, I've been testing them out and I've been very impressed with the quality of the items and more so the durability, especially for my mum. My mum uses her Note 2 quite roughly. I've got a quite... Um, quite rough should I say and it's been surviving really well um, this bit um, over here is actually really well made and it seems like it can take quite a lot of tugging as you can see obviously it is material and if you're gonna pull it really hard it will rip no matter what type of material it is it's not made out of Kevlar uh, but as you can see it's very useful only thing that you should note is that as you can see the cases do fold from um, from right to left like so therefore if you want to use the camera it is a little bit of a pain because you have to open it up like that and take a picture whilst holding this you cannot do this because there's no cutout for the camera there the uh, even the S4 I mean to the limit you could possibly squeeze it there and get an easy picture like that however still again it's the same problem um, when it comes to this so do bear in mind that these are the cases which open like so. They don't open. They don't fold open like that. Um, therefore, it means that you will have um, trouble taking photos if you need to take photos, um, and if you don't want to be holding this. So you just have to hold it like that to take photos, or possibly like this. Um, you should take it like this, really, because widescreen TVs and whatever you view it like this rather than that. But anyway, I just thought to mention that because I'm pretty sure some people would. Um, be uh, wondering or <laughs> obviously you would have realized it uh, by now but still worth uh, pointing out apart from that guys there is no real flaws in terms of the price they seem very well priced I'm sure you can get cheaper cases but they won't be as premium quality as these I've never come across such really nice cases even my mum when she first saw them she said this is a really really nice case and um, I have got to say that for the price that you can pay for these I would highly recommend them um, and also the screen protector even I've been using on my S3 is very good, very easy application and um, and no problem. I did notice that the screen protector is a little shorter than normal as you can see right there is a little um, uh, it cut a little bit more than other screen protectors I've used but that said it's a screen protector and therefore it's pr supposed to protect the screen and it does exactly that the rest of the phone is not the screen it's the is the outside shell of the of the of the phone but anyway the screen protector is really good it seems very scratch resistant and easy uh, easy to clean um, and it was very easy to apply uh, I have to say so there you go guys I hope um, this overview slash review of the case cases has been useful to you. If it has, please do leave a comment or um, do give a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, do let me know what you think about these cases, if you've got a case or if you're thinking about ordering a case yourself. As I said, there'll be a discount code um, in the description below which applies not to Amazon but to um, Jason Cases uh, website directly. So hopefully um, this video comes useful to you and that you guys go out and buy the cases because as I said I highly highly recommend them and that said um, I I can't see myself um, getting another case uh, because really I've never come across cases which have this good quality for such a low price. Anyway guys take care totally dubbed out bye bye